Hello everyone and welcome back to Goof Troops RC's. As you may have noticed, we've changed the name to the channel. Something that fits uh, a little bit for us. Guys back from Florida. Uh, growing up, we just were a bunch of Goof Troops and uh, just decided it was a good fitting name for the channel. Uh, represents me and a bunch of other friends and uh, it's just something that uh, sticks home with us. So anyways, what we have in front of us today is the Danchi uh, Ridge Runner. Uh, long and anticipated. Um, heck of an upgrade from this guy here. Which is the Ridge Rock. Uh, so we're going to do an unboxing, unveiling, so to speak. Uh, we're going to talk about some of the... Uh, Nice things that this uh, affordable, ready-to-roll, out-of-the-box crawler can do. Uh, some of the uh, features it has and things like that. So, um, let's go ahead and get this bad baby open. Had a scare here this morning on the uh, delivery. Kind of funny. Said it was delivered. Try to go find out where it's at, and I can't find it anywhere. And so I kind of had a small panic. Had to call FedEx and let them know about it. And they were like, "All right, we're gonna try and figure it out." And nobody had answers. And while on the phone, <laughs> funny enough, uh, I get a email. For the Amazon lockbox with a code, and I'm like, oh, thank heaven. So, all right, there she is. If you can't tell what color I got, I got the red. Uh, I figured it'd be more suitable. I got a red short course truck, and the Dancy Ridge Rock is blue, so figured it'd be fitting to get a another crawler that's red. Um, you know, it's funny, ever since I got into this, it's been pretty addicting, and I actually have another toy on the way as well, but we'll make light mentions of that, so stay tuned. Alright. So, here we go. Straight out of the box. You guys are doing this the same time as me, so anything you're seeing is what I'm seeing at the same time. I have not opened this yet. Alright, so here is your instruction manual. Looks like something's sticking out here. What is this? Looks like graphic stickers. That's pretty cool. Those might be cool to throw on the truck later. Nice little add in. Alright. So, let's close up on this guy for you. A lot of you guys were very interested about the specs on this thing. I mean, if you are on the um, Ridge Rock Red, Red Cat uh, Ridge Rock Ridge Runner uh, Facebook page, it's a great group of people there, man, with plenty of knowledge. Um, there's actually files that you can pull up on their page as well to find out what upgrades are available for which model you have in particular. Um, so. Definitely great there. Just a bunch of blah, blah, blah. You guys already know about all this stuff. This isn't really too interesting. Uh, packaging. And so you know what comes in there. Alright, main features. Alright. Moving on to the next page, uh, receiver information, transmitter, steering modes, front wheel steering, front and rear, steering opposite direction, steering mode three, front and rear, same direction, crab walk, and then this rear wrist thing. So pretty much you have the same options here as the Ridge Rock for steering control. You got the regular front, you got the four wheel steer, crab walk, and rear steer, to put it simply. 
Um, in case you guys didn't know, uh, they tell you directly on the website. The um, the receiver there, your transmitter, whatever you want to call it, your controller, um, it doesn't come with batteries. Um, I actually went to a hobby store and I let those guys know, yeah, I don't need batteries. I have rechargeable ones. And they're like, ooh, we don't suggest that. Um, not because, you know, you're saving money or anything like that. We're losing out on sales, not selling batteries because you're, you're using rechargeables. Uh, the regular ones uh, that don't recharge, the alkalines, they're true alkaline. And they suggest using those um, as they work and last longer. Um, although they can't be recharged, but they just seem to respond better. For these type of electronics all right turn on the radio turn on the vehicle blah 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 etc etc so this is basically a, a guide on how to properly use um, this particular model so nothing fancy guys I mean we're about to get into the goods here in a second. I know what you guys are after. Um, you guys want to see detailed close-ups of things like that and um, just every aspect of this thing. So bear with me. This video might be lengthy just because of that. Here's the exploded view of all your parts, part numbers and whatnot. Uh, good job, Red Cat, man. Like 10 out of 10 for putting together such a useful manual. Um, can't say that the exploded views are this nice and detailed on others. Uh, won't give out any names of brands, you know, just out of respect. Um, but yeah, their, their manuals are the shiznias, if you will. I mean, can't get more detailed than that, guys. I mean, it's pretty, pretty sick. Um, if you want me to go over any of these exploded uh, view parts for part numbers or reference to something, uh, leave a comment and I'll be sure to check those and get back with you guys ASAP. Um, I'm here for the community. I'm here for you guys. Um, the content is for you guys. Um, I just get to play with these things, you know, because this is my new hobby, but I'm mainly doing this for you guys to gain knowledge on your RCs and keep up with the latest and greatest of what Red Cat is doing. Um, maybe eventually might start a partnership with Red Cat if uh, the opportunity arises. Um, looking forward to that. But right now we're just trying to get our YouTube channel off the ground and get something started with that. Those are your parts. All right. It does come with additional accessories, just like the Ridge Rock did. It came with servo horns. So, there you go. That is the user manual. All right. That came apart pretty, pretty easy. Okay. Truck. Uh, there's the box it was standing in. You're gonna get your additional parts and whatnot in here. Um, not additional parts as in upgrades or anything. Just your uh, the stuff it comes with. So nothing really in there besides your controller uh, you got your controller here it's the same exact one as the Ridge Rock nothing really changed about the controller aspect of it because I actually have the Ridge Rock one behind me um, here's the Ridge Rock one boom they are identical nothing's changed the wheel is the same button layout same uh, Back sides are even the same. Triggers, the style of them, the gripples on the handle, 
it's every everything's the same. Yep, three slots for batteries. All right, well, sure I don't mix those up. Leave that guy with him. All this cardboard out of the way. We might make a jump with that cardboard later. That'd be cool, huh? So, uh, here's what's different about the Ridge Runner a little bit. Let's see if we can't zoom in a little. All right. We got clips on the hood. And if you flip it around, we got clips on the rear as well. So, top mounted clips. Nice touch. Um, supposedly you can cut out the, uh, you can make side holes here and then you could attach this to the Ridge Rock if you wanted to. So that's pretty neat. Let's take these body clips off. Set those to the side. All right. And the body's off. All right, first impressions, uh, it looks super simple, honestly. Um, you got your hex fly battery there. Um, wheels are pretty squishy. They feel nice, but... They don't feel like, uh, if any of you guys have the Hyrax 2.2s, they're a lot bigger. I mean, obviously, here's a comparison. Um, let me back this up a little. Okay. So those are Hyrax 2.2s, man. I mean, just gargantuous compared to those. Um, and the high racks are way softer, man. Um, I don't know what kind of rubber they use, but this feels like a more harder plastic rubber than these high racks. Of course, these are aftermarket upgrades. I mean, these are stock out of the box. And what can you expect? Um, but let's see here. Uh, let me get my tool real quick. If you guys don't have one of these, I highly suggest picking one up, man. Uh, this is a quick little toolkit from Traxxas. So, that didn't come with it. Uh, neither did that. So, everything in the box here. Um, you got some nut drivers. A uh, little service wrench. Uh, haven't found much use for that yet. Um, and then you got your handheld driver. And some Phillips and some, um, some hex heads as well. Uh, flat heads even. So... Just about everything you need, a quick little service uh, toolkit. So what we're going to do is pull out the, shit, what was it, 7 or 5? I don't remember. It was a 7. Yep, 7 fits. Okay, so let's see if you can get that. 7 millimeter hex head driver. Here's what's cool about this tool. You lift up on this part here. Just pull it up. While you have it held up, just slide your tool in. Locks in place. It won't push down, but it will slide out on its own. So it does have a right and left feature, kind of like a uh, ratchet. So you guys definitely want to see these tires. I know you want to see these tires. So do I. So. Side. Okay. All right. So, what looks like the same hex, same hex, same style. It's got the. Four little notches in there, just like the the Ridge Rock. 
So these are interchangeable. Um, not really an upgrade by any means. Um, just standard. Comes with the Ridge Rock. Now, you guys were interested on the tires themselves, so let's get into that. Um, let's zoom out here. Okay. So, with the tire, um, they are glued. They're definitely glued. Um, looking at the glue ring that's kind of left over and residue there, and the uh, tire crevices and whatnot. Let's see if I can get a little light. Yeah, you can see the reflection now. There's some glue residue in there, uh, which is fine. It ensures they did a proper job gluing the tires. Uh, the rim is not a beadlock. Uh, almost looks like one, but those are not screws. Those are just plastic etches. Kind of gives it more of a design. Um, so they say high grip strength. Performance T51. So, I'm sure some 1.9 aftermarkets would fit just fine. I believe that's what these are, or 1.9s. Um, even the, the stock rip rod tires are bigger. If you guys can't see the comparison, I mean, it's a little bit bigger. Um, mainly just the, uh, the treads stick out further. Uh, the tire itself is a hair, maybe a millimeter or two bigger. Um, but yeah, that's just stock Ridge Rock tires. I've already upgraded to the uh, Proline Hyraxes for those. Um, they still have the stock foams in there. I've been wondering, um, testing out different foams. Uh, some of you guys are running Nomo foams from a special someone on our group. And uh, he makes some great products, custom made and they are like a gel insert for these things uh if you're familiar with the twill from michelin they look similar to a twill because of the design um, but they're just inserts they're not actual tires um definitely looking forward to getting me some of those um anyways moving on so Let's break out the tape measure because you guys wanted to know ground clearance and stuff like that. And some of you are interested in millimeters and whatnot and centimeters. And uh, I'm an old-fashioned American guy. I use a ruler every day and we use the common inch. So <laughs> uh, I believe bef before we give you guys a measurement of uh, any type of flex or ground clearance and stuff like that, let's... Let's go over this, uh, the new design for the uh, motor on axle portal system. So this is what you're looking at. I believe these are the new portal systems here. And uh, not too much difference. I mean, these will go right into a Ridge Rock, I believe. Um, supposedly there was more upgrades. Um, like, in order... To kind of match this to a Ridge Rock, there was supposed. I don't know if you can do it exactly. If you just buy one of these uh, straight out of the box, can you? I just noticed something pretty cool about this thing. I'll point it out in a second. Anyways, I, I'm not trying to get too distracted. I believe um, in order to make a Ridge Runner into your Ridge Rock, you were gonna need several additional parts, and Red Cat made that disclaimer. And they apologized about it, but they, at the same time, they're actually working on a great solution so that you can get portal axles and a whole, like, one, one deal kit uh, with numerous, numerous pieces and whatnot uh, at an affordable cost for us. And I, I think that's awesome that they're working on that for us. But, um, so let me point out something I just realized. Um, with... I don't know what these pieces are called, so forgive me for my lack of knowledge for these uh, these pieces. But what it looks like is that this is what is holding on your uh, body, right? But it has all these holes here and a screw. So I'm willing to bet if you unscrew these screws and you raise this bar up, you get way more height out of your body. So 
So it's almost like a body lift. So that's pretty interesting. Um, not too sure what this front piece will do or come in handy for, but it looks like you can drive some screws in those holes as well. Uh, stock servo. You know, I um, wasn't disappointed with the stock ones when it came with the Ridge Rock. It didn't necessarily have a lack of power, per se, for steering. It uh, wasn't underpowered at all, overpowered. I'd, I'd say it was right on the money uh, for what it was trying to do and what I was trying to do with it. Um, I upgraded him uh, to the Eco Powers on the Ridge Rock. And they're the same size. They're, they're 25s. And you know, not too much, I mean, a little bit more response, quicker response out of the upgraded eco powers. But the hex flies, man, I give you guys props. You're, you're doing your thing um, for, for a budget servo. Um, but yeah, uh, the front is going to be, and this is the front, uh, just so you guys are aware of the uh, position of this vehicle. This is the front end of it. Um, if we turn it to its side, you can see it still has the original Ridge Rock links, suspension links. Um, same type of setup with the wishbone as well. It's on the uh, motor on axle. And then the rear end, uh, same setup with the uh, servo. Got a little bend to it. Um, but yeah, same exact deal. So let's get that tire back on. And then we're going to uh, show you guys what the uh, ground clearance is all about. That's uh, you know, maybe, maybe one day, um, it it would be pretty cool. I mean, for 180 bucks, I feel like the the batteries could be better. Um, you know, because we enjoy these things, and honestly, I will say this: out of the stock battery here that's in front of me on this toy, the the Hexfly 7.4 volt Nymphs, they um they last decent um i want to say the most time i've gotten out of one so far has been about roughly 40 minutes of play time and that's like giving this thing everything it has to offer <laughs> on on rocks and climbing and stuff like that 40 minutes not too bad for a very small battery um i just recently got another toy i got a um an arma Sentin uh short course truck uh, Mega 550 and that's a 8.2 volt I believe two hump um, uh, Nickel metal uh, battery and That thing's dead within 13 minutes of just straight punching and doing jumps and stuff So not impressed with that kind of battery. That's why I'm moving on to a 2s lipo uh, Thought about doing 2s lipo conversions in the Ridge Rock um Still, still debating. Um, may, may be a possibility here with the Ridge Runner. So, stock clearance. Let's see to the center here. Well, you guys can see that, but. From what I'm seeing, is about three and a half inches. It looks like four, but it's honestly three and a half inches to the bottom of that belly. I mean, like to the very edge of the bottom of that belly. At three and a half inches. Now, your tires, they look to be about four and a half, four and three quarters inches long, or wide, sorry. Yeah, it's more, more of a four and a half. Okay. Um, then, let's see how wide they are. 
uh, just under two inches wide, 1.9s. I, I believe that's why they they call them 1.9 wide. Uh, is the yeah. So they're one 1.9 wide. That's how wide they are. That's what the reference of 1.9 is. Now tallness, they're about four and a half inches. Uh, let's see from you're about 20 inches long from front to back and your battery tray is seven inches long uh, widest point two and a quarter inches wide so that'll give you guys a, a rough idea how big of a battery pack you can fit in there uh, some ground clearance and whatnot. Um, a lot of you guys are more advanced than I am. You guys will definitely know like, oh, okay, I could do this, I could do that, I could do this. Uh, and that's the intention of this video, is to give you guys creative ideas and suggestions on what you can personally do for it, not me particularly. Um, as far as I am, I think I'm going to keep it stocked for a little while. Um, I'm going to learn a little bit more about it. Um, going to do some further research on advanced upgrades that either Red Cat is coming out with or something that somebody else found that works because they have tons of other toys laying around and they have tons of parts laying around they can just experiment with this thing and have the free time to do so with so that's what I'm excited for is to see what all you other guys come up with um, that's the main reason why I, I give myself some time as well to um, leave it stock that way in the future I do see something that sparks my eye or attention I'm like okay I want to try that out happens quite frequently it happened with the Ridge Rock not impossible to happen with the Ridge Runner um, so Red Cat 10 out of 10 man you guys grand slammed this thing and brought it home um, very impressed um, I'm ready to take it out and enjoy a test run with it so stay tuned like and subscribe Thank you guys for enjoying the content. May you guys have an awesome day.